the local police acted quickly, trying to prevent the situation from deteriorating. They exercised maximum restraint in the face of the rioters, and they were always on the defensive. This injured police officer Liu Dingwei is now in hospital. He had just become a policeman in Tibet last December, but the young police officer was severely hurt trying to put a stop to the riots. This March the 13th was Liu's 19th birthday, but on March the 14th the riots broke out near Ramosh Temple in Lhasa. Many young police officers, such as Liu, responded to the call for help to restore calm to the area and stop the rioters. But Liu and his fellow policemen held their ground. Despite being pelted by rocks and suffering injuries, they tried to deal with the hostile mob. The order we receive is that we should never fight back, even if we're beaten, never retort, even if cursed. The armed police officers exercised maximum restraint, but the mobster showed no mercy. Liu's head was seriously wounded in a barrage of stones. He almost fainted. I was hit on the head. I was already half conscious by then, but someone drew out his dagger and slashed me. The squad leader rescued half-conscious Liu Dingwei from the hands of the mobsters and escorted him to the hospital. Medical examination showed that Liu Dingwei's hip is seriously wounded. The cuts were so deep that his bones were exposed, and the muscles were also parted. His head was scratched. The 19-year-old has not told his parents and grandfather that he was injured and hospitalized, and his love for Lhasa remains unchanged, despite experience in the riots on March the 14th. <laughs> I like Lhasa and Tibetan people. On March the 14th, I saw Tibetan compatriots rescue our armed police officers.